A couple of days ago, Toho and Netflix revealed the first trailer for the new Godzilla anime, Godzilla Singular Point, as well as a brief summary of the show. When danger comes up from the depths, only young geniuses Mei, Yun, and their team can face the threat in Godzilla Singular Point. So without further ado, let's break down the trailer and give my overall thoughts. So let's get right into it. First, we see a very show-inspired design for Godzilla, about to shoot his atomic breath in this red mist. Next, we see Rodan flying through the city with some red contrails. I had to look up that word, so... Yeah. We get to see a closer look at Rodan, and I am not a huge fan of the design. It's a good design, but I'm not a big fan of it. I prefer the King of Monsters design over this design, but that's just my personal opinion. We then see one of our main characters running through the woods. Where are they running towards or from is unknown. We then see our other main character sitting in a movie theater watching something. They could be watching footage of the attacks from Godzilla or the other monsters attacking the city. We really don't know. We then see this hand holding a little cube. I'm not really sure what's in this cube, but it does have some importance to the show because they showed it in the teaser. Then we see one of my favorite shots from the teaser, we see Jet Jaguar in what looks like a warehouse. We also see this tail attack a helicopter, whose tail is this? Well I believe it's Titanosaurus's tail, who we see later on in the trailer. We then see Gabra in this red mist which Godzilla was in earlier, and I really like this design for Gabra, uh, but what's the deal with the red mist? The red mist could be something extremely important to the show. It could be something that is being used to create the monsters or something to stop the monsters. I really don't know. Next, we see Anguirus chasing a truck. I really like the design of Anguirus as this is by far my favorite design for Anguirus. We then see this underwater shot of a sinking ship in the red water. We then see what I am assuming to be Ebra swimming by. Next, we see a closer look at Rodan and still not a huge fan of this design. We Then we see a shot in black and white of someone standing in front of Jellyfish. This could be the Sarazawa of this universe, but I really don't know. We then see this really cool shot of Titanosaurus jumping out of the water over a ship. I really like this design for Titanosaurus. And what's interesting is the fact that Titanosaurus has Godzilla's dorsal fins. So could Titanosaurus be a part of the Godzilla species? We then see someone holding a recorder. We then see this group of Rodans flying through a city. We then see this big area. Could it possibly be the location of Mechagodzilla? Who knows? We then see ancient artwork of a monster in red water. Could this artwork be of Godzilla? We also have this writing in Japanese. Now, you might not know this, but I don't speak Japanese. So I put this in translate and it, I got ancient Shira. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Next, we see one of our main characters doing what I believe to be research. We then see our main character looking up towards the sky and the final shot is of Godzilla in the red mist. So that was my breakdown of the trailer and overall I'm really excited for this show and I'm really hoping it's going to be better than the Godzilla anime trilogy as those were not very good. And I'm so excited for this, I actually already made myself some merchandise. Credits to Spacey Soda, I hope I said that right, on Instagram for letting me use their artwork for my hoodie. So overall, I'm really excited for this show and the new Pacific Rim anime coming in 2021. 2021 just keeps sounding better and better. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.